everybody will back will shop dayton we're here with a 2004 buick lacrosse 3800 and we are going to be changing out the water pump the first thing that you want to do is disconnect the battery which you're going to have to take off the cross member there i'm also going to go ahead and take off the uh can't even think the fuse box and the overflow be right back with the tools that you're going to need okay i'm back um i removed the battery i removed the overflow tank and i moved the fuse box out the way you don't necessarily have to do that but i kind of did it for video purposes so now we're gonna we have it exposed to the water pump which is right here we're gonna crack the I'm gonna go ahead and try eight real quick. It may be sevens, but right now I can't find my seven, and they shouldn't. Let's see, be that. All good. Now we're gonna release the tensioner and the belt. Okay, back. We're gonna remove the belt. I am using a 15 millimeter ratchet and a half inch socket to get the belt broken free like so and you can remove it from wherever you want before you remove it make sure that you have a diagram of the belt or a picture of the belt but there it's off move the belt you can you can leave the belt a little bit if you want and just take it away from around the water pump oh look at that well we definitely see our leaking water pump now don't right in there all that seepage around that water pump. Now we're going to remove the water pump pulley. The pulley may fall off. Try not to drop it. That one stayed today, thankfully. And just, there we go. Oh, look, we got coolant dripping all in there so it's the water pump pulley below that is the water pump now before you can remove the water pump there is a bottom boat back there the bottom boat right there behind the power the power steering pump you have to remove the two bolts holding the power steering pump and then you can completely remove the water pump be right back once I get those two bolts. All right, we're back. And before I start, I wanna give y'all a tip. This is the new water pump, it's by Gates. Um, it has a nice nice gasket with it, nice metal gasket. So what you can do, so you don't lose track of the bolts, is take this out. And when you take the new bolts out, you put them in the water pump where it comes out from. Okay, back, found the size. It's a three eighths. And as you see, they do have thread lock on them. So, what you want to do is take your water pump and put this where you just took it from. So, you take it, put it right there in the first hole. We know that was the first bolt. Let's just see if they're. Uh, longer or anything so far that's number two put it there number three and we will put sealer on those and as you can see on the water pump we have those two bolts there and one big bolt there so i'm on the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and just get these water pump bolts out and set them up they uh the larger ones are 13 millimeter so be right back okay now with the power steering pump released we can get to the rest of the power stern or west of the water pump bolts so the one that was hiding from us is right here there's not a five eighths or three eighths so you're gonna see it really. 
it should be a 13 of 13, and the other one should be 13. So, swap around. I should be able to just get the rest of these out here. Somebody been in here before. Okay, with all that done, and a couple taps with the hammer, it'll come right off. Ready? See how many licks it takes. And there we go. Old water pump. see those are dowel pins where we did not have any pins at so we're all good you should be able to keep track of your bolts if you want you can swap them over I'll do that when I prep the water pump right now I'm going to clean up the gasket surface okay I'm back I'm gonna swap around the screws from the new water pump to the old water pump so we can prep the new water pump see the larger bolts are the longer bolts which also have a thread sealant we need to clean these threads up and put some new sealer on them this one is crusty I'll clean all these up there there and there now we're going to prep the new water pump put some sealer put the gasket and we are good just a little thin layer We'll need a whole bunch. I've already prepped and I've already cleaned and prepped the block with a little bit of sealer as well. Just take a little bit there. there. Try not to get it everywhere. <laughs> put this on the block or you can put this on the water pump first it is a metal and it's composite gasket so I am this way. I'm gonna put it on the block first since I already have the block prepped with silver it should stick okay I'm back I'm about to install the water pump I am going to install the small boats first and then I will clean and put sealer around the larger boats because those go into water jackets. So, should be able to locate it with the dial pin down there. One, two, and as you see, we're just going to get them hand tight. So we're going to tighten those two up and then we'll start putting all the small ones in and then we'll get the large ones sorted out. So. out on this one. I gotta buy some more of this. Yeah, I put it all the way around the front on it. Yeah, that's 
to see a lot of those threads. And, uh, yeah. Slides in so much easier. That's it. Last one, got a little extra on it, but it'll be all right. Okay, now I'm about to snug all those down by hand. Or by gun, whichever one, just snug, hand tight. Don't go all crazy. You kinda wanna go in a crisscross pattern. Okay, now at this point I'm gonna let it set up and then I'm just gonna start going over them in a the crisscross pattern. I'm gonna go over the four big ones, the four small ones, and then I'll torque them down. All right, we're back and the water pump is not leaking. She is running smoothly. We have topped her off. She was uh, pretty low, about a gallon and a half worth. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to let her get up to operating temperature, let the thermostat open up, let the air bleed out of it, any air pockets, and uh, we're all done. I'd like to say I appreciate you all. You all don't forget to subscribe. Have a blessed day. Peace.